Okay, I'm inside Guler Ice Cave near Mount Adams, Washington. It is really a nice cave, so I think it's probably too cold for bats. I've been looking around. There is definitely some ice in here. Mostly white ice, easy to see. There's also plenty of uh, exposed rocks. I can walk around on the rocks instead of trying to get around on the ice. For what for this time of year, it's pretty much how much I expected. Obviously in the late winter, early spring, there'll be a lot more ice. It's a weekday, so I don't know if there'll be a lot of other tourists. I'm not even sure if the schools are back in session yet. It's mid-August, so I think the schools will be back in session soon. During the summer, this place gets pretty busy for all the people camping. Then I think in the winter, it gets pretty busy with people, you know, snow skiing. Uh, what's it called? cross-country skiing, snowmobiling. It's a big place for snowmobiling. Wow, look at that white ice. It's cool little ridges. Let's see if I can get over here. Yeah, it's like really, really thin cave bacon made out of ice instead of limestone. That's really cool. So yeah, in between the rocks, it's where the ice lasts the longest. Less airflow. Here's a nice big patch of ice. A little bit dangerous. Got some nice ice down there. Like I said, down in between the rocks. Up here, see there's hardly any ice at all up here. In fact, it feels like it's above freezing. Still kind of cool, obviously. That's basically why I'm here. The forecast today is like 105 degrees Fahrenheit, so. I decided to go into a cave that I don't have to hike to. So, I haven't been here in a while. So, even though it's a pretty long drive to get here, something to do. I already showed this before. Got better lighting now. Nice big piece of ice. Wish I had a camera with better dynamic range though. This is the kind of thing. It helps to see different gradients. Shades of gray. Instead of just solid white or solid black. Okay. Wow, see I'm on a rock, it's mostly bare. There's some patches of ice. It's so thin, the ice is so thin, it's hard to see the ice. It's like camouflage or invisible. Wow, a couple of icicles there. Nice big flat piece of ice there. Notice the ceiling is coated with ice here. Like I said, down underneath the rocks where it's in the shade and there's less airflow. That's where it gets interesting. Trying to light it up from different angles. 
I also know if I move my camera around too much, it'll just have motion blur. <laughs> but ice is the kind of thing a picture doesn't do it justice. Huh. All sorts of weird shape formations here. Very rugged and complicated. It's got, got the texture of scales instead of being smooth. Okay, so there's a nice little patch. Oh wow, see down here? On top of this rock, it's like bare rock, but on the edge here, wow, that's a nice coating. It's like 100% coating of ice there. Different thicknesses. At least for now. I don't know. The like late October was probably when it'll have the least ice. So I don't know if it'll completely run out or not. So yeah, two more months of this weather. We'll see. Huh, you're saying a bug crawling around. Something long and skinny. Two big antennas in the front. I doubt my camera will catch it very well, but I have to try. Okay, let's see if I can go. See, up here, if there was no ice, it'd be easy. With all this ice, I don't know if it's going to be particularly safe, but if I zigzag, pay close attention, looks like it's going to be doable. Of course, just like any cave, I need to watch for loose rocks too. I got extra backpacks or extra flashlights in my backpack. So if you hear a weird rattling noise, that's my metal flashlights rattling against each other in my backpack. Even though this is a small cave, I didn't want to come in here with only one flashlight. That'd be a very bad habit. Try to be careful all the time, not just when you think it's necessary. Okay, there's the stairs. That's the lowest entrance. That's the way I came in. So that's the south entrance. This is right by the parking lot. So now I'm gonna go around behind. There's a little bit of ice on the floor here, but it's covered in dirt and it's ugly, so I don't care. I'm going to skip it. 